This ain't gonna be long. What up, everybody? I just got a quick message for y'all. Wanted to discuss what the hell are you doing with your life? Like, really? Like, what the what are you really doing with it? You was just a kid. Now you an adult. Look how much time has passed. Did you utilize that time? Or did you waste it? Did you capitalize on that time? Or did you waste it? When you was in high school, or supposed to be in high school, when people was telling you to get your grades, study, pass your test, did you do it? Or is that stuff still lingering over your life right now? Do you wish you would have got your diploma 20 years ago, 15 years ago? Do you wish you would have got your GED when you were 16 like you used to, now it's 19? And as an adult, if you're in your 40s, what did you do with your 20s and your 30s? Did you establish some type of work history in a corporation or on your own that you could build a life? Or did you waste that time too, just hanging out and partying? And if you're 40, how's your health? When you was going through the progressions of your teenage years, your 20s and your 30s, did you take care of yourself or did you overindulge on a consistent basis that allowed your health to plummet? And if you're 50 and 60, you're in the third quarter. I say 60, you're in the third quarter. If you're in your 50s, that's that spot. If you're right at 50, you could turn that corner. You could start eating right. You could start being healthy. You could start reading books and educating yourself. You could start expanding your mindset at 50. It's not too late. But if you're 65 right now, this what I'm a, this this you in that fourth quarter. You got 60 to 100 really. Technically 75, but you know at 75 a lot of people don't make it. So 65 if you make it, you know, you could possibly draw your your, your social security. You know what I'm saying? You probably are at a point like you set in your ways. By choice, though. It's not over, but it's by choice. And at that point, you kind of surviving. And you're reflecting on either the good things you did, the bad things you did, or that you're reflecting on what you should have done. But it ain't too late. So from 65 and up, you still got breath. You can still go and do the things that you would like to do. You can make you a list of things. They made a movie about it of things you want to accomplish before you off the planet. Not saying you're going to be off the planet soon. But the reality is you're 65. How's your bones? How they been holding up? How is your muscle density? Do you still have muscles or are they shriveled up because you ain't been working them? How's your tendons? Are your tendons strong? Do they feel like they about to snap every time you walk or move? How's your teeth? If you got false teeth, you in the building. If your stuff rotted out, too much sweets, or you ain't been taking care of them. And if you 80, salute to you. You, you know what I'm saying? You in the upper echelon. You made it, you got a long story, you got a long history. Do me a favor, why don't you tell us your story? Instead of hoarding it, holding it, and being depressed about it, some people might find it intriguing, entertaining, also inspirational. And if you happen to be watching this and you're 100, that's the goal. That's the goal. You, whatever you did in your life, you made it. Congratulations. Salute. And if you had a capacity to talk, to understand, and to cognitively 
create communication factions of others to understand you please 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 we need you please share this wisdom of how you made it through share your diet share your interactions Share how you handle race relations. Share how you handle poverty. Share how you handle being rich. Whatever it is, share it. Because others could be inspired and you could change somebody's life with just one day that you actually lived on this earth. Till next time, Philosopher A.D. Jones. Appreciate you. Peace.